This video is for the die-hard packer. Packing carry-on only to Alaska is the ultimate challenge, only to be conquered by the most dedicated cruiser, committed to their packing craft. Just kidding. Anyone can pack carry-on only for their Alaska cruise. You'll just need a little planning and a hint of restraint, and we're going to make this easy for you. Packing carry-on to Alaska may require some sacrifices, but it doesn't have to be torture. That doesn't mean I get excited about leaving that fourth pair of shoes at home. But I promise the reward is worth the sacrifice for both the cruise and the flight portion of your voyage. Before we get into the tips, we're counting on you to go back and watch the first three videos in this series on packing clothing, outerwear, and gear for Alaska. We cover all the basics and details there so we can focus on the nitty gritty of carry-on only packing in this video. Capiche? Are you ready, diehards? Let's do this. Tip numero uno is to maximize your personal item. If you're flying to your embarkation port, you'll be allowed one carry-on suitcase and one personal item per person, most likely, depending on your airline. Well, that personal item can do double duty for you if you play it right. For Alaska cruises, we suggest you choose a lightweight but rather large backpack. This backpack will serve you in three ways. It acts as overflow for your gear and clothing. It can be used as a shore day bag once you're in Alaska and can be used to schlep home those souvenirs. You're welcome. Oh, and if you're accustomed to wearing a purse as your personal item on a flight, invest in a small crossbody bag that you can just slip into your backpack so your purse doesn't count as your personal item. Our next strategy is to minimize shoes. Shoes tend to be the biggest suitcase space killer we pack, so downsizing in this area is key. Shoes are kind of personal, but here's how we limit ourselves to three pair on a cruise. We pack one pair of athletic shoes for days around the ship and port visits, one nicer pair for evening and on board, and one flip-flop or sandal type shoe for visits to the spa or hanging out on the pool or hot tub deck. This may mean your formal night shoes have to double as your every other evening shoes. So if this isn't a sacrifice you're willing to make, especially for the ladies, I get it. But in my experience, those glittery pumps may cause resentment when you're packing up to go home. <laughs> One last thing before we move on from the controversial shoe discussion. Wear your athletic shoe or your bulkiest shoe on the airplane to cut down on suitcase space. If you've watched our channel for a while, you know we like to compress for success. We suggest using a Ziploc or packing cube style compression bag to help you get the job done. But a major word of caution here with these guys. You don't wanna compress your clothing so much that you end up with an overweight bag. So save the compression for the puffy jackets and bulky clothes and use regular packing cubes to organize the rest of your stuff. Our fourth tip is to let your outerwear do double duty. Wear your bulky jacket on the airplane and limit your outerwear to just one item. Now often we recommend two jackets for Alaska, one for warmth and one for a rain layer, but in this case, we suggest finding a hooded waterproof jacket that also provides some warmth. Compress that puppy into your compression bags or wear it on the plane and you're set. We'll link to a few options in the description of this video. Not interested in buying a new jacket for your cruise? No worries. Just layer a waterproof jacket over a thick hooded sweatshirt and some layers and you're probably set. Our last tip is controversial and we'll get mean comments about this one for sure, but I'm gonna say it anyway. You can do laundry on the ship. <laughs> Whether that means paying to have it done or using the self-serve laundry rooms some cruise lines offer, Doing laundry is an effective strategy for the most serious carry-on packers. Here's why. It allows you to cut down on some of the bulkiest items you'll need in Alaska, like jeans, sweatshirts, and outerwear. You certainly don't have to do laundry on your cruise if you don't want to. Just know it's an option that could allow you to keep your bags a bit lighter. So, what do you think? Are you going to try packing carry-on only for Alaska? Tell us what strategies you will use in the comments below and be sure to check out our Alaska and Packing Cube stores in the description of this video. Give us a like before you go and until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.